The moment of inertia of an object that is able to rotate is basically a measure of that object's resistance to change its angular velocity. Now, since that sounds like a lot to take in, let's look at it more closely and conceptually. So measurement of an object's resistance. That part is telling us that the higher the quantity, the more it will tend to stay the same. So the lower the moment of inertia, the more it will tend to change. So we've got that part down, now let's look at where it says change its angular velocity. Okay, so the higher the moment of inertia, the more the object will want to keep its angular velocity at the same speed as it was going at originally. Take a ball for example. It's rotating at 5 radians per second. If it has a high moment of inertia, it'll take more work to stop making this ball rotate than if it had a lower moment of inertia. There are two things that affect the moment of inertia of an object, mass and the distribution of this mass. To see this in action, let's take a real life example of a figure skater on ice. We can say that the figure skater has a particular angular momentum while she's spinning on the ice. Because of conservation of momentum, we know that this angular momentum quantity has to stay the same the whole time she's spinning. And by definition, Angular momentum is equal to angular velocity times moment of inertia. When the figure skater is skating with her arms out, she's rotating at a constant speed. When she pulls her arms in towards her body, however, she speeds up and starts spinning really fast, which means her angular velocity increases. Why does this happen? At the beginning, with her arms stretched out, more mass is distributed away from her body or her center. When there's more mass that's farther away from the center of an object, that increases the moment of inertia. In the next phase, with her arms close to her body, all of her mass is mostly concentrated near her center. Because of this, her moment of inertia decreases. Now when we look at this equation again, we know why this makes sense. Since angular momentum has to stay the same, when her moment of inertia decreases, her angular velocity has to increase to make up for this change.